Okay, so the first thing I would do is I would pull out the unit circle, and what I would do is obviously we don't have a one that we recognize here, but what I would do is transform all my radians to that common denominator of 12 there, and it's going to be a little bit easier to see what we want to use here. Another thing you could do is just go ahead and transform it to degrees, and that might actually even be easier. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do that. So to make life easier, I'm just going to go ahead and change my radians to degrees. So I'm going to divide that by pi, so the pi will cancel out. So then I have to multiply by 180. So let's see, negative 7 times 180. And then I have to divide that by 12. And so we're looking at negative 105 degrees. So tangent of negative 105. So what we have to do is figure out we have to subtract two of these where we get negative 105. And so it looks like it'd probably be um, 30 degrees minus 135. And so that's what we'll do here. We're going to write this as tangent of 30 minus 135. So now I don't really have to deal with the radian issue. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but that should make our life a little bit easier. So then, basically, we're going to be using this formula right here. This will be my A. This will be my B. So tangent of A right here, that should give me, um, let's see, tangent of A, let's see, 30 degrees. That should give me, let's see, let's see, it's the Y over X. When we flip that and cancel that out, we'll get 1 over the square root of 3. And when we rationalize that, we're going to get square root of 3 over 3. So that's going to be my tangent of 30 degrees right there. So I'm going to have the square root of 3 over 3. Then minus tangent of B, that one's going to be a little bit easier because when you take the ratio of that, it's just going to be a negative 1. So I'm going to put that in parentheses. So minus negative 1 divided by 1 plus the product of tan A, tan B. So let's see, square root of 3 over 3 times negative 1. Now, there's uh, quite a bit of algebra to clean up here. So I'm at, this is going to change to addition right there. So I'm going to have square root of 3 over 3, and that's going to turn into a plus 1, but I'm going to write it as plus 3 over 3 because I'm going to need a common denominator anyways. And then same thing I'll do right here. I'm going to change that to 3 over 3, this 1 right here. And then this will become minus square root of 3 over 3. Okay, so now that I have those, oops, go back a page. There we go. Now that I have those common denominators, I can go ahead and bring this together as the square root of 3 plus 3 all over 3 and 3 minus the square root of 3 all over 3. And then we'll do keep, change, flip. So keep, change it to multiplication, put the 3 on top, and then I have 3 minus the square root of 3. So then from here, the 3s will cancel out. And so now <laughs> I'm left with square root of 3 plus 3 all over 3 minus square root of 3. And you would hope that we're done, but we're not. We have to rationalize the bottom. So what we're going to do here is you multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate of the denominator is going to be 3 plus the square root of 3. So what I do on top, i got to do, I'm sorry, what I do on bottom, I have to do on top. Okay? And so let's see what happens here. So when you FOIL the top, let's see, we're going to get 3 square root of 3 plus the square root of 9, which will just be a 3. So I multiply that there, square root of 9 is 3. Then 3 times 3, that will give me a plus 9. And then 3 times uh, square root of 3, that will give me a plus 3 square roots of 3. Okay. And on the denominator side, uh, the reason we want the conjugate is because what will happen here is we'll get 3 times 3 is 9. Then we'll get plus 3 square root of 3. But then we get a minus 3 square root of 3. And then square root of 3 times square root of 3 will be square root of 9, which will be a 
square root of 9 is 3. This time it will be a minus, though, so minus 3 because we have the negative in front of this one right here. Almost there. We're almost there. So then this cancels out here. On top, we can consolidate the 3 and the 9 to give us a 12. And then 3 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3 will give us 6 square roots of 3. And then on bottom, 9 take away 3 is 6. Okay. And then now our denominator divides into both terms up top. So we want to go ahead and do that. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. 6 divided by 6 is 1. You don't really have to put the 1 there. You can if you want, but it's, it's understood. And so there we go. Simplifies to that. Okay, I know that was a lot. I know it kind of went fast, but hopefully we're able to catch that.